Hello, this is Compound Interest Stock Guy. Today we're gonna be doing donuts. Uh, it's very good for donuts right now. Uh, very icy, a lot of snow, so just a little bit of donuts for fun. As well as we're gonna be talking about uh, Sundial Growers, uh, Top Leaf uh, Strawberry Cream uh, Strain. Just look at it. So stay tuned. Uh, if you're new, uh, don't be shy. Uh, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. I'm just gonna be talking sporadically about the cannabis industry. No, no real specific topic besides showing the the cannabis. So let's get into this uh, cruise. A little fun uh, donuts. As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Woo! Woo! Yeah. So uh, it's very crazy out here. Woo! Woo! Whoa. Whoa. All right, enough fun for today. So let's get down to business. Gets down to business. All right, so let's show you what I got. So the, the package is pretty interesting here. So there's, there, it's not open, like it's, it's only at the top. So. That's the top leaf. Anyways, this is the package. It says, uh, it says 6.9 milligrams of THC and then uh, total THC 181 milligrams and total CBD 0 0.7 milligrams. So this is an Indica hybrid of uh, Sundog Growers. This is Top Leaf. So Top Leaf is a very popular brand. So uh, that's uh, from the gray market uh, grower that came over to the legal regime. So this smells amazing. I have to say, okay, the, the cannabis from uh, uh, Wayland uh, with, I think it was like Northern Harvest was strawberry ice. And that was a pretty nice strain, but this is fucking phenomenal. <laughs> the smell is so good. So, uh, anyway, it's it's hard to it's hard to do it here, and I can't do it at my house because I'm not allowed to bring cannabis into my uh, into the place I'm renting. But uh, you know, doing the best I can. Regardless, it's uh, very crystally. So, very crystally, nice. Smells smells awesome. Doesn't doesn't seem to be very potent um, as far as the high THC grades, but you know it's gonna be a good good. Uh, a good smoke. I got some new uh, Rollies. <clears throat> Where are they? They're uh, Rizlas. Uh, there. Zigzag 100 rolling papers. So, uh, yeah. Sundial Growers Top Leaf. Uh, what else was the guy saying in the in the store? I really like to to, to talk to these guys uh, in the store because they um, you know they have some knowledge that I may not have, and uh, that's uh, you know kind of the reality of things uh, that they're able to talk to a lot of customers. So I mean, obviously I can check all my intel as far as the uh, local stores, but. As far as uh, you know, asking these customers, uh, the you know, I, I don't know, I don't see the customers, so I can talk to these guys as well as the guys telling me that Delta 9 uh, has some shatter products that, that are coming about, so that should be pretty hot. Um, Delta 9, definitely to be watching out for. 
apparently the shatter isn't gonna be in um, like little little things. It'll be in um, vape pens, like and uh, so it's the same as as the distillate that's going on right now. So that's interesting. Um, those products aren't out yet, yet but uh, DNA, Delta Nine Genetics. Oh, DNA. Oh, he said DNA genetics. So I guess maybe he's talking about uh, Canopy Growth. Maybe I misread him. Canopy Growth will have some shatter products. Interesting. I think Delta 9 is going to be strong as well. Maybe he meant Delta 9. I don't, I don't know for sure. But I think it's also DNA. DNA genetics. So, yeah. But I uh, those products aren't out. Beverages aren't out. Uh, I don't think anywhere in Canada. They were supposed to be out already. I'm looking at getting a job soon. Uh, some guys want me to go back to work for this shutdown. So looking at doing that soon. Uh, the weather's warming up, so I like that. Um, you know, I like to go walk around in the middle of the night, like eight o'clock when it's, but when it's cold out, minus 40 with a wind chill, not very fun to do. So now that it's getting warmer, it's only about minus 15 right now. So I'm enjoying that. Uh, it's really it's really a free-for-all as far as the cannabis industry you know you've got to read your charts right now uh, you got to look at some companies that are aren't making any money I mean if they do go up are they necessarily going to continually go up I mean that's I think I think you want to be moving it your money into companies that are making money so that's that companies that are creating a net income or their positive EBITDA or they're very uh, good well valued and they have lots of cash on hand I mean I've been preaching this for a long time to my viewers and subscribers but um, especially if, if these things like start going up a lot I mean if canopy goes to 50 or 60 dollars again don't think that the market's just gonna continuously go up you have to be um, plan ahead plan accordingly that the market's gonna take a tumble come April May so you want to get out of those positions the companies that don't have cash especially if they went up um, and then then you know position yourself in cash company that Sheldon Snow was talking to me about was QSR and uh, they do have a pretty good PE ratio and a dividend so I'm gonna look into them further I'm, I'm thinking that they do have some debt but I saw a Motley Fool article saying that QSR is basically a good place to put your money for um, for the Beyond Meat kind of stuff because a and W uh, and you know Tim Hortons they can sell lots of Beyond Meat so they're gonna profit from um, the Beyond Meat burgers so something to look into as well as like they have their own products as well so um, I have to look into the further. I did buy. I did buy uh, Nilsey uh, on Friday. It was a very uh, interesting purchase. If you've never seen uh, Sven Carlin on uh, financial stuff, I would recommend watching his videos on on Norilsk. He does a very good job, and uh, you know, I I he's the guys like they call him like uh, Doctor Sven or something. And this guy's got like 55,000 subscribers and he's not like a hype guy. He's not like uh, financial education, like getting all excited about shit. You know, I respect financial education, but some of the picks I don't really like think they're that great. Um, I mean, like Tesla, like Tesla, I think is too high. I think Tesla's too high. Um, I think Tesla should be more around like 150 to $200. Now, like hype can take it super high, but it it it'll take it down. So, um, will Tesla be a thousand dollar stock in like three or five years? Probably, but as far as um, right now, I think it's it's gone up too high for where it's at. Um, could it be wrong and it keeps going higher? Absolutely. I don't protect. I don't like. Uh, I don't control the the direction of these stocks. I don't have billions of dollars to move these companies. So. That's just the reality of things. Uh, but I, the Nilsey, okay, we're getting back to Nilsey is I did buy 20 shares. And uh, my whole uh, thing is a lot of people is they want to have like 100,000 shares of a small company that's worth like a penny 
or it's worth like half a penny. And um, that's not really smart investing. Um, I'm, I, I know there's like people that say like, oh, well, you only have seven shares of uh, Amazon or something like that. But at the end of the day, if the company's making money and uh, they're growing and they have lots of cash, they're going to continually dominate because it's like a, a monopoly as far as the can uh the USA market. So, and Nilsie's okay. Nilsie's like a platinum and and big time palladium players. So palladium's at record highs, and they're gonna report their financials uh early March. So if platinum and palladium keeps going up, the stock's gonna continuously go up. But they also are um, leveraged into nickel. Like thirty percent of their revenues are in nickel. So nickel's at very low prices, excuse me. And if nickel goes up a lot, um, which I think it will in the next like six to, to eighteen months, then uh, Nilsy will do good, even if uh, platinum and palladium go down. But they also get in rhodium, so I'm hoping rhodium continuously goes up. I mean, if it goes to fifteen thousand, that's very good for them. So I I just want to emphasize that it doesn't matter how many shares you have. Um, whether the stock's going to go up or down. I mean, if you own if you own 50 shares of of True Leave at twelve thirteen dollars, and then it goes to twenty five dollars, you're still you're still doubling your money, right? So um, the mentality of oh buy a stock at like two cents or buy a stock at like zero point zero five because it's going to go to like five cents and I'm going to become a millionaire is is dead. Um, not thinking. It's not. It's wishful thinking. So. Anyways, I just wanted to get this down. Uh, keep compounding your info. Listen to my lingo. Shaka. Peace. I'm out.